Oh, here he goes. Watch out. Everyone, this is Samuel. Hi, Samuel. And the little fellow here is Mosey. Hi, Mosey. Okay, we're in an olive press, and Samuel and Mosey are going to show us. This is the first step in making olive oil, crushing the olives. Listen. Okay, that crackling sound is the sound of the pits, the seeds of the olives being crushed. This time, unlike the grapes, we crush everything together. Yes? Then we take special baskets. They look like this. We take the crushed olives by hand, like Samuel is showing us, and we fill the sides of the baskets. The sides of the baskets here. So we have something that's going to look, at the end, like a car tire into the sides. Car tire full of crushed olives. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? Okay? Good? Okay. Then, once we've filled all the baskets, we're ready for the next stage. Thank you, Samuel. And that is over here. The pressing. Oh, are you okay? Not depressing, but the pressing. Here we go, everybody. Come on down this way. Watch your step. Careful, please. Here we go. Okay, the big, long wood beam is the most important part of the press. If you can't see me over here, you can look over there. There's another beam and stuff back there. It's almost the same. Right here below, we have a hole built into the floor. Okay, it's about a half meter deep. Okay? On top of it, we put our baskets, as you can see, full of crushed olives. Uh, one on top of each other, okay? Until we have a stack full of crushed olives. Then we lower the beam onto the baskets to squeeze them. It looks something like this. The oil in the water drip into the hole in the floor. But God made oil lighter than water. Oh, very nice. We wait a little bit. The oil floats to the top, and we can scoop the oil off the top of the water. How convenient. We have three stages, or three pressings, where we add more and more weight to get more oil from the same baskets. And so you can see in the pit the three stone weights. These are about 500 kilograms each one. We lift them with the winches, these structures, uh, wood structures with the ropes, and the weight is transferred onto our baskets here. The first press oil is the best oil. This is virgin olive oil. This is also the first fruits. Okay, erste Früchte, something like this. Okay, close, close, okay. First fruits, right, is holy to God, right? The first thing that comes from the trees, the first thing that come out of the earth, right, is holy to God. So we think most of the virgin olive oil will be sent to the temple in Jerusalem, for example, to light the menorah. Seven branch candelabra in the holy place in the temple. The second oil is for food, medicine, perfume, and cosmetics. The third oil is the lowest quality oil. That's okay. It would be used to light oil lamps like these and to make soap. Yeah, to make light. Yeah, light and soap. Okay. An olive press in ancient Hebrew is Gat Shmanim. Can everybody say for me, please, Gat Shmanim? Thank you. Tak. Gatchmanim is where we get the word Gethsemane from. Gethsemane means olive press. 
Okay, you understand? Notice Gethsemane is on the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. Olive trees, olive press, Gethsemane. And what happens in Gethsemane? Yeshua, Jesus gets to Gethsemane and he begins to feel oppressed. He knows he's going to be crucified and bear the sins of the world the next day. And he goes alone to pray to the Father. He's under stress and he's sweating blood, it says. And so he is praying three times alone and he comes back to check on his disciples. Just like the olives are squeezed three times to get the precious olive oil from them. Okay? Let's continue.